Hey folks, so today we're gonna learn how to build our own analysts for stocks. And in this case, we are gonna provide some data to the agent and based on this data, it is gonna analyze the data and provide us a recommendation on what decision to make about this particular stock. A disclaimer that anything shown in this video is not financial advice and these workflows are just for demo purposes. So to begin with, we're gonna start with a fundamental analyst and this is just gonna look at basic info that we provide. The flow here contains a few different components. As you notice, we have our chat input. This is gonna be the stock ticker or symbol that we are gonna provide. And that input goes to the next component. If you were to search for a prompt template, we can see that there is the option to provide some sort of template for the input. And that's exactly what we did. We provided the API URL and we just have one bracket here that opens up an input that we can provide to the prompt template. And that is the input that we get from the user. And once we get the input, I am quickly gonna run this flow so we can see what the output is from each of these components. So now the prompt is gonna contain the ticker. So now in this particular case, there is nothing provided. What I can do is I can quickly open this up and provide an example. And I am just gonna run this again. So with this, we should have some input available. So that's good. Now, once we have the URL, we are gonna be providing the URL along with the parameters to our API request component. And this is again, one of the components available in Langflow where you can make an API request to any URL and this could be any of the methods. So if you want to make a get request, post, patch or any of these available here, you could utilize that and then provide the URL. There are some additional parameters here as well that you can change or you can provide some headers or you can add some query parameters or body, anything that is needed for the API request. So in our case, it's quite simple. We just want to use the URL all of the parameters are added here in the template. So the other way could be just provide the simple URL, but add all of the parameters here in the additional query parameters. So now once we pass that, we are able to pull the data from the URL for this particular ticker. And this contains a lot of data. So now we have either an option to look for the actual key value pairs that are gonna be needed in our case, or the other option is just to pass all of the info as is to the agent, which can make decision. Now to send that info, we just need to follow the proper format that our components are gonna need. So if we notice API request is gonna provide an output of data. And what we need here in our prompt template is something in the form of message. The way we can do that is using a parser component. And this is also one of the built-in components that is available in Langflow, where we can take in data and parse it. So we pretty much send the response as is, but in the text form. And now this text form, along with the prompt template is what is gonna be sent to the agent. So prompt template here is gonna be quite important. And what we're asking our agent is that first is the background that you are an expert stock market analyst, and then you are provided some company financial data. And based on this, your task is to carefully analyze and let us know what it thinks. And the output format is going to be for one recommendation to either buy, hold or sell, and then the reasoning behind it. And at the end, we are providing the data that we got in the previous step. Now, just to quickly make sure everything is passed properly, we see that the template as well as the financial data is available and we send that over to our agent and then the agent is going to analyze and let us know what it thinks. So for this particular use case, we have the agent recommendation based on the analysis that it did. It looked at a few different factors and then it recommended for us to buy. Now this is quite a simple analysis. We just provided some data. So we are going to build on top of what is available here we are gonna add a few different components. And that's exactly what we did in the technical analyst where we have 
a few different technical indicators that we provide to our agent. And these are available as part of the URL that we are providing to the next tab. So you can notice that each of the technical indicator is available in the URL. And then we send the URLs to the next component, which is the API request. And as we saw in the previous flow, this is just going to be a get request based on the URL and the parameters provided from the previous component. And same as before, we are going to parse that data and we are going to send that over to our prompt template component. Now here, it's going to be a little more involved where we have a few more details to the agent. So first thing we're saying that you are given information from the last five days for these particular technical indicators and that we are providing some sort of timestamp. And based on that, these are the instructions for you. And within the instructions, we're basically saying that based on the five day history that is provided here, you've got to evaluate all of these technical indicators. And then based on that, have some sort of clear reasoning and references to what you think is best to do in this situation, either to buy, sell, or hold. And then finally, we're asking for a particular output format. Now, when we ask our agent for a particular stock, it is gonna perform the analysis as we requested. It is gonna go through the different technical indicators. It is gonna analyze them. And then based on its analysis, it's gonna provide a recommendation. And this recommendation, as you notice, is different than what we saw in the previous previous workflow where it asked for us to buy. Whereas now looking at the different technical indicator, it is recommending for us to hold it and it provides some more details here. And as mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is just for demo purposes. This can get you started on your research, but definitely it's not a financial advice. Now, the cool thing is in Langflow, you can bring in multiple data points and this could be from one API URL, or it could be multiple sources, and we can combine this live data along with any data that we might have within our organization or team and send that over to the agent for any particular analysis. And in this case, we use a very simple GPT-40 mini model, but you can change this to a higher reasoning model. So you could go to something like GPT-5, or in this case, you could also go to O3 or O4. They could probably do even better reasoning task. There's also an option that you can provide all of these as a tool to the agent. Instead of running all of these API calls, you can ask agent to use any of the API calls as a tool and provide that as a tool to the agent. So there are many different ways that you can build workflows in Langflow. And it could range from a simple flow, what we saw earlier, to something complex here, which takes a lot more parameters in the analysis that it does. Let us know what you think and if these walkthroughs are helpful and comment if you have any requests for a a particular flow or a use case. would love to see what you're building with Langflow.